In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my unique strategy that I've used to identify trends before they become bestsellers. This is a strategy that I haven't really seen any other videos actually showing exactly how to do, and it has been such a huge component in the success of my Etsy and print on demand business. I believe in order to be successful with Etsy and print on demand, one of the key components is to always be prepared for what's to come. And oftentimes that might be targeting specific niches or seasonal events throughout the year so that you are prepared when those search volumes do increase for any of those events. But another component of that is being able to identify different trends that are emerging so that you can be one of the first to show up in those different trends. If you were new to my channel, hello, my name is Taylor and on my channel, I share my experience with Etsy and print on demand as somebody who has sold over $175,000 on the platform, as well as just share helpful tutorials, tips, tricks like this so that I can help further you in your print on demand journey as well. If any of that interests you, I would love for you to boop the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on any future videos like this. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go on to Etsy. The strategy that you're probably already used to seeing is going on to Etsy, looking up your chosen product type that you sell in your print on demand shop, filtering to best sellers, and then just looking at what is bringing in the most sales or the most revenue. Now, while I still like to do this, I like to look at best sellers, see what's selling, get inspiration from it. Look at the design styles, the fonts, the colors. The problem with this strategy is it often just kind of pigeonholes you to really only looking at one area that is working currently on Etsy. Instead, we are going to take a completely different approach to this. It's important to think about what actually gets an item on the first page of Etsy search. Those things will include views or clicks into a listing, favorites, sales, and then of course reviews as well, positive reviews. All of those are different types of interactions that a customer can have with a listing on Etsy that are going to show that it's getting positive feedback. People are showing interest in it and all of that interest translates to Etsy pushing that listing further and further up the search results. Once an item has a bestseller badge on it, it has already seen all of that positive interaction. It's got tons of views, tons of clicks into it, tons of favorites, and probably a good bit of sales to get it there. But the listings that are on the rise and really kind of on their way to that bestseller badge, they are not necessarily always going to be on that first page of search because they're building up their listing quality score. So how we can actually factor that into our research search strategy and trying to find these different trends before they become bestsellers is how we take a look at the search results that we get on Etsy. When I'm doing any type of research on Etsy, I always like to start with some more general phrases in relation to my chosen product type. So in this example, I am going to use sweatshirts. However, this same strategy can be applied to really any product type. You are going to just want to change the word or keyword that I'm using to your chosen product type. So I've typed in sweatshirts for women and the previous strategy that I mentioned would have you at this point filtering to just the best sellers and looking at what is selling most. What we're going to do differently is I'm actually going to scroll through the listings on this first page of search and I want to look for any listings that aren't best sellers. So I found this listing and this was on the first page of search. It doesn't have a bestseller badge yet, but you can see why it's on the first page of search. It has the in 20 plus carts little badge with it. And then the other thing that I like to do with this strategy is actually use Everbee to analyze the listing. Now, if you do not have Everbee, Everbee is a Chrome extension. I do have a link in the description that will actually get you 50% off your first two months with Everbee. So definitely be sure to grab that if you're wanting to try it. But with Everbee, when I analyze the listing, I can see all of the information specific to this listing and its performance on Etsy. And this is actually crazy. This listing has had over $177,000 in revenue. I always love seeing listings that are less than a year old that are performing really well because to me it is so inspiring and encouraging and I feel it shows that there's really no reason why you can't have this next listing as well. Just taking a look at what they're offering here, it is just a simple mama sweatshirt and it does incorporate a sleeve print. Sleeve prints are something that has become a little bit of a recurring theme here on my channel. It's something that is definitely on the rise and one of my predictions for a top seller in 2024. So in this research process, I want to start making a note of the things that I'm starting to see that are trending and on the rise. So sleeve prints might be something that I make a note of here. Back on our first page of search, I'm going to continue scrolling down and we've made it to the bottom. So what I'm going to do next is actually go to the second page. 
page. This is something that I really don't see people often do when doing research on Etsy. They spend so much time on that first page of search, but really we can find some golden nuggets on the second, third, and even fourth page of Etsy search. Because again, those are listings that it doesn't mean that they're not performing at all. They're just on the rise. They're working their way to that first page of search. So we can get a lot of really good information from them. Here's another listing I found that does not have a bestseller badge yet. We can see that it is starting to get more views. It's had 13 in the last 24 hours. And this is such a simple design. Analyzing this listing with Everbee, we can see again, this is a relatively newer listing. It's seven months old and it's estimated monthly revenue is about $622 with about 17 monthly sales. In its lifetime, it has had 127 sales. So it definitely had a peak season there for a moment. Similar to the last listing where I made a note about it being a sleeve print, I might make some notes about this design style as well and see if it's something that I could pull inspiration from to bring to other niches as well. How we can take inspiration from this listing is one by taking a look at the design. Is this something that can be recreated and maybe brought into a different niche using this style? Another thing that we can do here is take a look at the specific niche that they're targeting. They're targeting the mountain and hiking type niche and that's something that seems to be starting to get a little bit more traction. This is a great indicator that this is a niche that is on the rise right now. And that's something that I might want to consider as adding in a niche to my shop, which camping is actually one of the niches that are in my niche calendar. I do have a full January through December niche calendar that targets different niches all throughout the year and really when they begin to spike so that you can optimize your sales. If you're interested in that, I do have a link to it in the description box below, but we can get that same type of information here on Etsy as well. So I would categorize this into that camping niche. This is a process that I would repeat, continuing to go back to the search results, scrolling through, looking for items that are either popular now or without a bestseller badge. Here's another one that's in 13 carts, and this is geared towards the birthday niche. Analyzing this listing, this has been on Etsy for eight months, currently has an estimated monthly revenue of $225, five sales in the last month, and 74 total sales. I know that there are tons of research videos like this out there that really focus on just looking at listings that have tens, 20, 30,000, or even hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of revenue. And while those can be really exciting and motivating to see, oftentimes you are going to fill your shop more so with listings like this. I have found as a six figure Etsy seller that most of the listings that are bringing in my total revenue each month, it's not all just from one listing. It's from a multitude of listings and listings that see those really high revenue numbers while they're great. They're often in my experience, more so like a one hit wonder. They aren't necessarily something that is going to be sustainable long-term or something dependable long-term. And depending on what your goals might look like with Etsy and print on demand, you might want something that's a little bit more consistent for you on a month to month basis, especially if you're looking to replace an income or have a consistent bonus amount of income for yourself each month. How I've been able to do that in my print on demand business is by targeting these smaller niches, targeting these smaller audiences, filling my shop with a multitude of listings that bring in a smaller revenue amount, but are consistent from a month to month basis. When you fill your shop with all of those different smaller niches, you're able to create something that's a lot more maintainable, sustainable, and also just achievable so that you can actually reach your revenue goals that you want to have. I try to share a very realistic and authentic approach when it comes to print on demand and niches like this, which most of the time people aren't going to want to show you listings like this, because when you see $225 of revenue, it doesn't always sound like the most flashy thing ever, but this is honestly where you can really begin to see a lot of momentum and small wins in your Etsy and print on demand business that will lead to a bigger snowball effect later down the line. Here's another listing I found just repeating that same process that is targeting the same hiking type niche that we saw with the other listing. This is one that's in 20 plus carts. And if we analyze this particular listing, we can see that again, under a year in age, it has about $110 in monthly revenue right now, 45 total sales, 
but I would identify that this pattern, this design style is something that I would potentially want to target as it's starting to make its way up through the search results. When I see designs begin to repeat themselves in a similar way, that's how I often identify some of those early trends and try to tap into them in my own unique way. If you ever see designs that you are wanting to create a similar design style, but you aren't really sure how, like the sunset type designs that we just saw in two of the listings that we researched, I have actually pulled up Creative Fabrica and that is where I often find a lot of the different graphics to use in the designs that I create. So all I did on Creative Fabrica is just type in sunset graphics and here we can see there's a ton of graphics that kind of give that same feel to what we were seeing in the search result. So I will have a link to Creative Fabrica in the description that will get you 10 free downloads if you wanted to try that out as well. If you are looking for more support and mentorship in growing and scaling your print on demand business, then I encourage you to check out the POD Connection, which is my mentorship group, which I have linked in the description box below. In the POD Connection, you will have access directly to me through a private community discord where you can ask me questions, receive unlimited coaching, as well as we have monthly challenges, monthly coaching calls and workshops and masterclasses, as well as you are going to be surrounded by a community of like-minded individuals who are all looking to grow and scale their own print on demand businesses as well. We have all experience levels in the group from those who are completely just starting, just opening their Etsy shops all the way to those who have been selling for multiple years and seeing success such as hitting a thousand sales and even 5,000 sales in the group as well. So if that sounds like something that interests you, be sure to check out the link in the description box to learn a little bit more about it. And I hope to see you in there. Comment down below if you found this research tutorial helpful, and I would greatly appreciate it if you were to tap the like button if you did find value in this video. As always, I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next one.